Hey traders, Palmer from Bank to Trade. It is Monday, February 4th, uh, March 4th, 2019. Markets closed a little while ago. Um, made about, where are we? About 250 bucks for the day. And that's about, you know, for an eight hour work day, that's about, you know, 30 bucks an hour and change or so. So that's not bad. If you can't make it on 30 bucks an hour, you know, you're, you're living beyond, beyond your means. Anyway, uh, Mondays are always tricky because I'm pressed for time. I took uh, one of AJ's plays and I took a, a few things of my own. Um, I really liked, I was commenting on the Mayoc, uh move that was going up, but uh, it didn't really pop the way I wanted it to at the open, so I took uh, the Cure trade instead. But uh, in pre market, um, I took these are the trades right here if you want to freeze frame things and bookmark them come on why can't I grab this there we go uh, MDGS I took some of this early uh, this is uh, what about was about 530 in the morning it's a very low float stock it had some quick and dirty news on it so I bought 300 here let it make its run. It had room. This is not, uh, yeah, this is a stock. Uh, it had room to push, had a nice early morning push, stalled at 377, and I got out there uh, around this topping area because it just it didn't find any juice after that. But uh, really early morning trade there. But uh, on the, uh, the Mayoc trade, what AJ was uh, looking for on this one was that uh, it was moving up, it was gapping up on positive data. It's not an endpoint, it's just interim data, and it had a pretty substantial move pre market. The volume was kind of thin, spread was kind of crappy. Okay, the cure, Myoc was uh, gapping up on, on positive interim data. All right, and cure was gapping up on a Barron's article over the weekend. So the reason, and I even commented on Myoc before the market opened but the reason I went with cure instead um, was because I wanted to see on myoc and it was up here way too much and the spread was it wasn't the greatest because the volume was it was really thin it was almost nothing there but it was pushing up here uh, and the spreads were just not cool and it started to tank hard in this area but what I was really want, I wanted this to, to pop some more at the open. When I saw this tank, I knew that it was my, I, I waited too long on this because I was waiting for a pop and it wasn't going to give it to me. And it just got hammered at the open right here. Um, this, this was a drop 5206, $2, a buck 50 right there. Um, and there was no, I didn't want to, I mean, even down here, after it being up above 50, I thought shorting this might have been a chase. So I was waiting for this to move back up. I just wanted this to give me a dollar so I could mark it into it. Okay, and this is what, what Cure did. At the open, it popped up a little bit, and then it started to come back down. I want to see, because I shorted this Cure at 831.23, Right, you know, pretty much after the open, I got in at 59, uh, 59.61, and I sold it 10 minutes later at uh, 58.85. So I sold it uh, right down here because I think there was a pivot down here or something, and it was it bounced off it. And my meeting, what time is this? My, I've got a meeting in just a few minutes, so. I, I took my money and, and ran on this for 200 shares. Uh, so with the MDGS and this trade, it was about 250 bucks for the day within, you know, 10 minutes of the market open. So that was it for the day. Um, I shorted another stock that I'll go over, but it didn't do anything. But uh, the reason, again, the reason I didn't go into my because it, it got hammered here, if it would have popped up, uh, this one had the better range also, 48, there was, you know, 5 or $6 there. This had about a 2 or $3 range, so I was really wanting this Mayoc to come down. I mean, it's good news for the investor, but if you're a trader, you see what's going on here. 
and the stock ended up three and a half bucks for the day, which if you're holding this for six months, you know, good news for you. But as a trader, you want to see, you want to take this move down. But again, it just didn't have that pop up where Cure did. And I had both of these loaded uh, to watch. So Cure gave me the, uh, the move up and then come back down to fill it real quick. So that, you know, that's the reason that there was no pop on Mayoc, there was a pop on Cure, but I wanted this Mayoc. And the other trade, I, I took this TAK trade because it was up on, um, you know, pseudo news, and it really, was it TAK? Hold on. Okay, yeah, this was it, was, it was gapping up on old news or no news, and it was moving, let's see, 20, it was up a buck. And I was telling Janny pre-market, I just, you know, I just want to get 50 cents out of this. So I took a short here, uh, 250 shares to give myself room to add. It made a little pop right up here, but I was watching Cure and managing multiple positions. Um, it's, you know, it's it's tricky. So I missed adding on this, which uh, I want to put that at 4 EMA on here. Just bear with me. It's going to be the wrong color, but, um, you know, it had that nice extension off the 10 right here. And looking at this on the one minute, it was right here. You know, that's, you have to be lightning quick to see this kind of stuff and bring it back down. But I was in at 12, uh, 32. This would have almost cut my average in half. Say I got in towards the down part of that and had a 1240 average on 500 shares. Just get out scratch because it, it was, you know, it didn't, end up breaking it all again i just wanted 50 cents out of this and even on my loss this was a scratch trade i, I sold it at 21.32 and i bought it back at 21.32 so probably lost a few bucks in commission so i mean that was it. it it pulled well it's not even a pull it just stayed up there all day but i wasn't looking for much on this um couldn't catch that and i'd probably need to be more aware especially on a monday when i have a uh meetings about this time because i can't really watch it so this is probably it's only up a buck i need something with more range if i'm going to try to short something um pre-market especially on a monday but uh uh and this asnd i think they came out with an offering they were up uh pretty damn big and they're you know 400 million shares no price but maybe or 400 million bucks so maybe what 40 million shares at a hundred dollars or something like that i'm just guessing i have no idea but this was a pretty large it's a uh, human gro growth hormones positive phase uh two data um child study so it's good news great news for the company um so let's see what this does but you know conservative day 25 250 bucks got to be quick on these because mondays are just i have so little screen time for some of these plays but aj's plays were rocking you just had to wait from the setup. Um, it's just a matter of patience, and the, you know, to catch stuff like, you know, I'm just going back to this chart right here, where it doesn't matter what stock you're in. Um, I'm going to get rid of this pre-market gap so you can see it a little easier. But uh, to add to positions, or you know, this is a four, this extension off the four, extension off the four, especially you know, on the 10 minute. You really, you know, and it's about multiple positions. If you can manage it when you have your order entry form and your chart on one screen and another chart on another screen, you can manage it. But to be able to catch these extension pushes like these, you got to be watching the chart. And, you know, patience has a hell of a lot to do with this. And if you have the patience to watch your chart all day, even if it's two or three tickers that have some kind of volatile or chaos news in the morning, those are going to 99% of the time be the only tickers you need to watch to make one or two trades on. You just have to have the patience to let the trade set up for you. So again, this was scratch. Uh, but anyway, Tuesday, we'll see what happens. There was a lot of movement today, a lot of China talk on the tariffs and the biotechs were, you know, the with ICPT doing what it did, a uh, week or so ago, and ASND doing the same thing. You know, the biotechs are, you know, they've got some momentum, but this has an offering. Um, wondering, this is an old, old uptrend line, but if this breaks, this might give up five or six points. There's no price on the offering 
Uh, that probably won't come out for a while. But uh, either way, this might, we'll see how this plays out. Anyway, uh, conservative day, 250 bucks. I'll take it part-time. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Trade smart.